unpredictable, and that's what makes filling out a bracket so fun and also frustrating. WCIA3's Bryce Bement is here with us. Bryce, you've got all the answers for us, right? Well, 70 million people submit NCAA tournament brackets each year. No one has ever filled out a perfect bracket. But one U of I professor is trying to help, starting a website and dedicating a lot of research and time to try and get it right. The website is basically an opportunity for sports fans like you to have some fun with the analytics and see how it works. Sheldon Jacobson is a hockey fan, but when the computer science professor came to the U of I more than two decades ago, he came up with an idea to use data to predict March Madness. People want to know what's the secret sauce, what is analytics when it comes to picking a bracket, and we try and uncover that and at least shed some light on how and advanced analytics can help people uh, put together their brackets in an informed way. Jacobson started Bracket Odds in 2006 using analytics and data to create a winning bracket. What started as a class project evolved into a website in 2011. It's gained national traction with hundreds of thousands of viewers. We've taken the data since the tournament went into its current form in 1985 and compiled it in a way that people can be informed. For example, how far does a certain seed advance in the tournament? What could you expect them to do? The website helps you make your bracket using data, or you can have one created for you through their simulator. The Illini, a four versus a 13. Well, there's good news and there's bad news. It's better to be a four than to be to a 13. But in the last three tournaments, the fours have only won seven of those 12 games. The 13s have won five of them. Uh, but the three tournaments before that, the fours had won 11 of the 12. So is this going to be an 11 of 12? kind of year or is it going to be a 7 out of 12 kind of year and we won't know until they take the court um, on Friday. But after an upset last year for the then number one seed Illinois, Jacobson says odds may be in their favor. Illinois was was badly upset last year as a number one seed. Now they're a four seed. Well, the laws of averages say that there's reversion to the mean that when you lose on one side, you gain on another. With that, let's hope that things go well on Friday for the Illinois. So how far does Professor Jacobson have Illinois going? Here's the South bracket. He projects them beating Chattanooga in the first round with Houston advancing as well. So it'll be the Cougars and the Illini in the second round with a chance to go to the Sweet 16 on the line. And he's got the Illini playing in the second weekend for the first time in 17 years, taking on Arizona in a rematch from earlier this season. This game was in Champaign, and they will play in San Antonio this time. But even the Illini professor can't pick Illinois to to beat Arizona. He has the top seed of Wildcats taking down Illinois in the Sweet 16 with Villanova getting past Tennessee. But this is just math. That's why they play the games. Right, Andy? Absolutely. March wouldn't be any fun if all the higher seeds won. Bryce, thanks.